Today, I'm joined by one of the biggest characters in Irish poker. He's a poker operator, a poker commentator, and lest not we forget, a poker player with over $1.6 million in tournament earnings. Fintan Gavin joins me to discuss the upcoming Irish Open Winter Festival taking place on Paddy Power Poker and Betfair Poker, and also answer some quick fire questions. Fintan, how are you? Are you all set for Christmas? Good. Thank you for that introduction, Jamie. <laughs> You're so kind. I almost forgot what I did for a living. I, I know you like think, to say down the, kind of the covered, poker player aspect. Well, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> well, I think you covered everything except what I actually do for a living. But, but never mind, we won't go into that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, listen, thanks for having me on. I'm really buzzing about this. Uh, I, I just got the call last week, as you know, from Paddy Power, just saying, look, we're doing this festival. Would you like to get involved? And uh, when... They told me the details. I was, to be honest with you, I was excited. I mean, oper online operators adding money. That's what that's what you want, really, isn't it, as a player? And, you know, medium, small, medium buy-ins and big guarantees. So they got a good formula here for this online festival. So looking forward to it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So it's, uh, yeah, the Irish Open Winter Festival uh, begins on the 26th of December. Uh, there's three events each night with 50 euro, 20 euro and 10 euro buy-ins. Uh, as Fintan was saying, there's there's money added uh, to the festival every single night. The top three uh, receive a ticket to the hundred euro, fifty thousand euro guaranteed main event. And as we said, these tickets are added to the prize pool, so plenty of value to be had. There's also a ten thousand euro leaderboard for the series, and again, ten thousand euro added by Paddy Power and Betfair doesn't come out of the prize pool. So, as you said, definitely good to see uh, money being thrown back into the, the poker economy as opposed to being taken out. So, Well, absolutely. I mean, any time I did a leaderboard, you know, you, t you take the money. The, the punters usually, you know, finance it, like, you know. Yeah. And, uh, you know, there's several operators, online operators, these 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 leaderboards. They're, they're not, it's not all gravy, like, where yeah. in this case it is. It's just free money, which is... Did you say the main event was a hundred euro? I'm so bad, Jamie. I don't even have the buy-ins. <laughs> but did you say the main event was a hundred euro? Is that right? Oh uh, yeah. So uh, hundred euro, euro yeah. buy-in for the main event, yeah, fifty k. Brilliant, guys. lovely, lovely, lovely buy-in. Uh, for online, it's it's a sweet buy-in. Yeah, and I think there's re-entries as well, isn't there? Uh, there is, as far as I know. Yeah, there's a day one A. Day one A is on the first of January, and day one B is on the second of January. And I think there's a turbo flight as well somewhere there so. turbo yeah definitely yeah, i've seen that that's yeah. that's i think i'm registered for that already too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no i mean 100 euro 50k guaranteed money at it good luck i'm in there you know yeah absolutely yeah can we expect to see you uh, at the tables or in the commentary booth or what are you what are you thinking uh well i, I had to chat with the lads this is what what, do you, what are you thinking and i says jesus i like the sound of playing so in fairness, they've invited me to play the festival. So I've kind of taken that week off. I've told the family, look, I'm going to be playing, doing a bit for Paddy Power. So uh, yeah, I'm going to play all the buy-ins. I think they start as low as 10, yeah. 10 euro, I think. Yeah. And uh, I'm just going to bash away for the for the week or whatever, the, the week or 10 days or whatever it goes on for. I think it starts Stephen's Day and goes on to the third or something like that. Yeah. So definitely. yeah, and I there's a special there's a special event, uh, an ambassadors event, and they'll have a load of big names, won't they? Uh, for yeah. ex Premiership footballers, and there's going to be bounties on everyone's head. So that that that's kind of a standout standout one. They want me to play that one, so I'm definitely I'm yeah. definitely. I think I'm going to be playing every night. To be honest, I think that's the situation, particularly for people who mightn't be kind of Joe big poker players or you know, if people don't want to gamble kind of big money that uh, that ambassador tournament is absolutely ideal I think for absolutely people, yeah. you know, people who might play the kind of the the pub game around Christmas in the in the pub might have the opportunity now so uh, 10 euro to play play with the likes of yourself and myself and uh, as I said the odd punters, uh, pre punters. premiership footballer punters yeah so <laughs> great uh, great opportunity for um, yeah for everyone there you know yeah 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 uh, we're giving away five 10 euro tickets for the series. So all you have to do to be able to chance of winning these uh, is retweet this video with your Paddy Power or Betfair screen name. So that's your poker screen name, not your login name. Um, I'll post further details for that in the description below. 
So there's 25 events total during the Irish Open Winter Festival. So in honour of this, Fintan, we're going to run through 25 quick fire questions. Okay, wow. Okay. Yeah, you're some crack, Jamie. Yeah, go on, hit me. I hope you're ready. I hope <laughs> Don't you're ready. get too personal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Fintan, biggest poker win. My biggest poker win, my biggest financial score was uh, an EPT uh, event in Barcelona uh, 10, 12 years ago. Favourite favorite starting hand? Okay, geez, it's going to take us a while to go through 25 questions if these are the questions. <laughs> okay, my favourite starting hand in Texas Hold'em is ace, ace, and I mean, good luck. Don't need to, you know, I'll take that all day over any hand. <laughs> good, uh, good, good, interesting answer yeah, yeah. there. Thanks, yeah. Uh, Omaha or Hold'em? Um, well, I'm starting to uh, enjoy the small stakes Omaha. I've been playing for the last few years and I'm really starting to. Certainly for cash, there's no, like, there's no, it's not even close. Omaha for cash and Hold'em for tournaments. Okay. Uh, Favourite place to play poker in Ireland? Um, I think straight away it comes to mind is the Radisson Galway and Killarney. These are the two places for me because they're great fun. They're great locations. Like, you know, more like kind of touristy holiday kind of yeah. locations. And it just seems to be a different vibe, you know, when the tournaments are hosted there. And I mean, my favorite tournaments have been in these places, Killarney and the Radisson and Galway. Yeah, for sure. Excellent. Yeah. Favorite place to play poker outside Ireland. Outside Ireland, well, I enjoy Kings. I like I like Kings, and uh, I would say um, where else the Bellagio, Dust till Dawn, yeah, these these would be pretty cool places. Um, let me think. Surely I can. Let me see now. <clears throat> the Vienna, we really loved Vienna. We were there a few times. It's class. Yeah, ne uh, never the Concord there. was the only. Yeah, well, Concord was the only place really for years and years but now they have like Montesino and they have some real 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 class places in, in Vienna like top spot like you know yeah okay excellent yeah uh best commentary memory or hand you've commentated on um well I'm not commentating that long I'm only doing it a few years and uh I was kind of thrown in the deep end in, in Kings like and they used to have massive high stakes yeah cash, like serious serious like it was I'm, I was blown away, to be honest. I, it's the biggest game I've ever seen, you know, by a long way, like, you know. Mm. Um, I think my standout memory was the PLO game where there was uh, a punter called the Crocodile. Screen, we could see uh, Gus Hansen uh, going through the hands with him, telling, trying to explain him how to play. And this is a 100-100 game. <laughs> and then he went on and he, like it was a four hour game. It was amazing. It was a huge game, but he held his own for the four hours until the last 15 minutes. And then he just done all, he done like, wow. he done 120 grand or something like that. You know what I mean? And yeah. that was it. He was bust, but he hadn't a clue how to play. Um, okay. Favorite Christmas movie. Oh, Christmas has to be National Lampoons. Chevy Chase. Come on. Classic, yeah. standout classic. Can't yeah. beat it. Uh, favorite poker movie? I, um, Mississippi Grind by, I mean, I've watched it about five or six times. I don't know why I love it so much. It's I just think it's class. Most exotic location you've played poker? Um, well, I don't know. Uh, probably the Bahamas comes to mind. Um, it's pretty cool, the Bahamas. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty expensive as well. So, yeah, probably, probably the Bahamas. Yeah, we went to um, a few funny places, but exotic, I'd say, yeah, Bahamas. Bahamas, okay. Uh, favorite alcoholic beverage? Uh, Pint of Guinness. Pint of Guinness, yeah. Um, favorite sport? Favorite sport, I'm a big football fan, big premiership fan. Mm. And it's just getting better every year. I don't know. I'm loving it, like, for the last, I don't know, 10 years or whatever. But, Best Christmas present you've ever received or given? But you know what? I have a freaking brilliant... Yeah, I don't know. Can you see it there? You can see the edge of it. Yeah, the dartboard, is it? Yeah. Best Christmas. There's a running joke in our house that I never get out for Christmas. I get, like, black socks and black T-shirts. 
Yeah. And that's it. And then, like, a couple of years ago, they bought me the airport. So definitely that's been the best present for <laughs> quite a while. <laughs> Excellent. Um, first car? First car was a Toyota Cressida. It was a big, huge joke. It cost me more on oil than it did on diesel or petrol. I think it was petrol. Yeah, it was definitely petrol. And I was like, I bought it off my friend who was a car dealer. I was buzzing. Went off to a rave in the forest. This is like 30 years ago or whatever. Like, you know what I mean? Absolutely brilliant. It was a tank of a yoke. The Proceda. Yeah. Brilliant, yeah. Uh, cash games or tournaments? Uh, tournaments, for sure, yeah. Turbos. Uh, turbos, yeah. <laughs> Check out. Yeah, day 1C, the turbo flight for the Paddy Power uh, Winter Festival. Um, Fintan will be there, yeah. Uh, most famous person you play poker with? Um. Okay, well, for me, it, it kind of depends at what kind of stage you're at, like, you know, yeah. when you're playing. I mean, I mean, you remember the Galway Festival and we got like, the, you know, Gus Hansen yeah, and, and, and the Swedes, like, you know, Isidore, like, I mean, yeah. Victor Blom, I was just walking around Galway. That was just incredible. In fact, we had this big, huge, giant size mural of Gus Hansen on the side of a hotel. And it was so strange driving around the docks of Galway and you see this guy like, you know, superstar poker, like it was just amazing. But um, I thought that was huge. That was 2013. But the first World Series for me was 2005. And uh, I went over with uh, my friends, Pat uh, O'Callaghan and Dave Curtis. And uh, I remember the three of us bought into the main event. Like, I mean, I don't know what we were thinking. Like, And the dollar was actually stronger than the euro. Like, do you know? Oh, boy, so it yeah. cost us like over 10,000 euro to play. Like, yeah. And... Um, we had a clue what we were doing. Like, had not a clue, not a clue. More money than sense, but we paid in anyways. And uh, the first table I got was Patrick Antonius. Uh, I was a big poker fan, so I knew. I was in, you know, I'd follow poker media and all that, so I knew. Now, there was a load of, like, Hollywood stars, like James Woods and people like that playing. Mm. But, like, the cameras were all over one particular table. And I couldn't see who was at the table because it was so far away. But when my table broke, of course, I ended up going to the table. And who was at the table? But Phil Ivey, you know? Wow. So, yeah, I think that was, for me, probably, yeah, definitely his most famous poker player I, I've ever played against. Uh, favorite, favorite meal? Favorite meal, steak and chips. Good luck. Yeah. Biggest cash game pot you've ever witnessed? I've ever witnessed? Uh, yeah. Multiple, multiple hundreds of thousands yeah, yeah 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 like yeah yeah i mean i was i was privileged really with the commentating when they invited me over they just threw me in like you know i hadn't a clue what i was doing please don't go back and listen to some of the stuff because it's <laughs> painful but it was just awesome the pots like i yeah. mean awesome i seen several half million euro pots several like you know mm. um i don't know i think I could be wrong. Like I think eight, eight or nine hundred thousand is the biggest pot I've seen. I think, well, I'm not sure, but there was many multiple, multiple pots like in in the six figures and high six figures. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what Irish county has the best poker players? What Irish county? Yeah. Well, it's pretty difficult to say. There's a you know an actual geographical area that's. Do you know what I mean? I mean. I, uh, our our own parish here was kind of back in the day was renowned for players. Jude Ainsworth is yeah. my neighbour and good friend. He just lives across the road, Jude. And then Derek Murray, I don't know, uh, do your listeners know Derek Murray, but he was top, top tournament player, Derek, as well. And he, like, he's a stone's throw. And, um, you know, at the time there was Silky, Martin Silk, he, he was living nearby so you know this is going back quite a while so from such a small area you know it was pretty pretty decent standard and the standard in goalie was always pretty good like okay what irish county is the worst poker players <laughs> yeah uh wow i could really insult a lot of people do you know what i'm gonna say i'm gonna go on record here right and i'm gonna say limerick <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of good friends down in Limerick and they're all brutal. Do you know what I mean? Like, they're the worst ever. Like, so yeah, 
They, I mean, they think they're superstars, but they are actually brutal. Yeah, and they don't gamble at all. Like, do you know what I mean? So, there you are, Jamie. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, and finally, Fenton, uh, what event are you most looking forward to in this year's uh, Irish Open Winter Festival? Okay. Um, well, look, to, to fest, I'm just, to be honest, there's no like one thing that I'm actually going, yeah, wow, that's absolutely outstanding or whatever. It's yeah. the whole, it's the, it's the atmosphere of the whole uh, event itself, you know? Yeah. The fact it's on Paddy Power, because for me, now I could be completely wrong here. I haven't played Paddy Power in a couple of years. I could be completely wrong. But the impression I get, right, is it's soft because it's like, it's a punter site. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. And it's kind of, you know, it's it's the it's the Irish side, isn't it? Really? It, you know? Yeah. It, it's it's going to be Irish, yeah. Irish UK players mainly. It's you know people. Yeah. That, yeah. 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 So I'm. What's attracted me to the to the thing is it's the whole event and the buy in the buy in sizes. The guarantee is incredible. 150k guaranteed. 50k in the main. And the biggest buy in a hundred euro, as you were saying, like I mean, it's 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 huge, a huge guarantee, fifteen k at it. So the whole, the sum of the whole thing is really attractive. I'd say if you're to put me on the spot and say the one event, I, uh, I'd say the ambas- the ambassadors, kind of yeah. bounty event because it'd be a load of money at it, and a few, there'll be a few right donkeys playing <laughs> who won't have a clue what they're doing for sure, uh, like you know. Yeah, I've de- I've definitely, um, that's, yeah, that's the one I've been pushing to a lot of my kind of non-poker friends or whatever so um yeah. uh, you can expect there to be definitely uh plenty of um plenty of people this is literally their one game of the year or their you know one or two games of the year so um and then i said who doesn't you know it's nice to uh if you knock out a premier league football or whatever get 100 euro, Brilliant. Uh, yeah. bit of crack bit of a story over Bonus, christmas yeah. why not absolutely you know? yeah excellent excellent stuff so don't forget, uh, retweet this video to be in with a chance of winning one of five 10 euro tickets for the series. Um, and like, share the whole lot as usual. Thanks very much. Uh, Fintan, thank you very much for joining me and uh, we'll see you at the tables. Absolutely. Thanks so much, Jamie. Appreciate the uh, time with you. It's great to see you. You're looking well. <laughs> and have a happy Christmas. Same to yourself, Fintan. Bye-bye.